name is Murray. And fun fact, my heritage is a combination of English, German and Italian. And that tiny Italian part of me all originates from a small island off the Bay of Naples named Ischia. It's been eight years since I last visited the island. But now double the age and a bit taller, I'm finally returning for a two week stay. And little did I know what a trip I'd be in for. Good morning to the passenger who are boarding late and welcome on board the Eastern flight to Naples, operated by the president. That was a smooth, smooth behind that she landed. The first stage to most holidays I call the settling in stage, which consists of unpacking, jumping in the sea, finding your bearings and navigating the location you've just arrived in. And we did just that, taking in the town of Furio, visiting local markets and exploring neighbouring towns, one being Sant'Angelo. There's something quite special about Sant'Angelo, mostly because it's the place my grandma and granddad met, which naturally makes it quite a sentimental place. But despite that, Sant'Angelo will simply charm you. We spend the next day at Cava dell'Isola, a beach not far from Furio, where I can proudly say they cook the most perfect seafood pasta. The three of us spent the afternoon jumping off rocks, diving out far and swimming about in the warm water. The following night, we were told by our Italian relatives that outside Castello Aragonese, Ischia was hosting La Festa di Santana, an event where each of Ischia's biggest towns, Ischia Ponte and Porto, Cousin Michola, Laco Ameno, Furio, Serrara Fontana, and Berano would all participate in a float show. Buonasera a tutti. At precisely midnight, fireworks went off around the port, and I genuinely think it was the best display I've ever seen. Something that feels like an Iskatan tradition in my family is climbing up Mont Epimeo. It's approximately a three kilometer walk from the small town of Fontana. And while it is a bit of hard work, for the final views overlooking Ischia, it is beyond worth it. I think the hand's a bit too posed. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That is it. That is our shot. <laughs>
The next day, we decided to hire a boat in order to sail around the island. And I truly believe it was one of the best decisions we made on that whole trip. We stopped at multiple locations, hosted the world's worst diving competition, and simply enjoyed the freedom of sailing wherever on the island we wanted to. For me, and the fishies. We briefly stopped at La Baia di Sorgetto, a small cove home to thermal hot springs due to the island's volcanic activity. Thank you, Queen. Um, great experience. 10 out of 10, like a hot bath, but in the open. Uh, <laughs> out of what? in the dark like we do I just love the way it feels yeah. That evening I ate ice cream and explored neighbouring towns with an Italian boy I had met the day before and yes I did hold a sea urchin thanks to him and yes you should be proud Not long after the first visit I was back in Sorgetto with Ale I think we timed it perfectly because just as we left the pizza, the sun set. One of the landmarks which visually defines Ischia is Castello Aragonese. So given the opportunity to explore the historic grounds and learn about the castle's origins was fascinating. The castle dates back roughly 2,500 years and during that time has served as a watchtower, a home to the royal family, a prison, and has even housed 2,000 inhabitants at once. Ischia Ponte in Porto has to be one of the most picturesque towns on the island. It's right by the water, the atmosphere is perfect, and you can even see Vesuvio from the harbour. The next day, I was invited by Ale to join him on a boat trip around the island. I have to say, I feel very lucky because technically this was my second trip. But nevertheless, we spent the day swimming in caves, searching for sea snails and crabs, and eating an endless amount of Italian food. That evening, my family and I visited La Cormeno, the Iscaton town my Italian relatives come from. Just standing there on the jetty brought back a lot of nostalgia. Eight years went by so quickly, and being back in the same place and finding it almost identical to how I left it was very surreal. We also got in touch with some of our family out here in Ischia, and were kindly invited to spend the evening with them out in Laco.
Two days later, it was time to say our farewells to Ischia and to all the amazing memories I made and friendships formed. I have no doubt I'll be returning soon. This island has always had a place in my heart and the fact it's remained exactly the same all these years makes it feel all the more like home. Until next time, Ischia. <laughs>